Okay, welcome back to Sand Lawyers to Hell. Uh, this time we're doing Prince of Persia, which is one of the big themes on this channel. After a hundred thousand million people suddenly came into my channel and uh, watched the Prince of Persia retrospective with all the different parts, uh, this time uh, we're playing as part of the requests for Sand Lawyers to Hell, which is an initiative that uh, I set up last year to help people in the prison camps in the south border of the US. Um, and this was a request uh, from someone who made a big, big donation. Uh, it was it was absolutely incredible. It was it was uh, two hundred dollars or something, uh, and they just requested keep making videos and maybe you could do a Prince of Persia mod. So I'm doing Prince of Persia: The Repetition of Time. <laughs> First try. Thank you, Steel Donut. Uh, we've had a few problems. Um, Okay, so this is the repetition of time. Uh, it is a mod that was written in, oh, I want to say 2012 or somewhere around there by uh, the King of Persia. Uh, what a coincidence. And uh, it uses a lot of elements of the game that you wouldn't expect uh, to be used in certain ways. That he found a lot of hidden properties and accidents and bugs in the game, and you have to exploit them all. So uh, I'm hoping uh, to remember how. Uh, if not, a guide will be in our future. So already uh, you've had to get a guard to move onto a switch and then use the way that you can tiptoe and not alert guards uh, to get past that one I just did. And yes, because this guard sees you when you enter his field of vision, he his hitbox changes, he suddenly steps onto the plate, and uh, you can't get through that door. Uh, and it would be really nice if I had that sword, wouldn't it? I don't, from memory, I don't think I need to be here, uh, which is probably a good thing. I think I need to do something else instead. Uh, I'm playing on SDL Pop, by the way, uh, which is a re-implementation on SDL of the original Prince of Persia, runs natively on Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever you like, and it has a a, a couple niceties in it uh, to make it easier to run mods. How do I get up there? I can't remember, let's just go this way. Okay. Looks like I'm heading for that platform there. Good, okay. And I think... Uh, oh, one of the uh, one of the nice advantages of SDL Pop, by the way, is that uh, you can. Oh God! Yes. So one of the advantages of SDL Pop is that you can quick load and uh, quick save. Oh. <laughs> well, it's going to be that kind of day. Uh, so you don't have to repeat the entire level uh, if you make a small mistake, uh, which is going to be crucial for uh, for SDL Pop. I'll be using that quite liberally. Um, is that the best way down? Yep, maybe. Okay, whoa! Here we go. Everything's okay. Now, how do I get past him? Hmm. I could just jump down onto him, but... Whoa, no, that's not going to be it. No, that's definitely not the solution. Um, I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to use some ingenuity here. Whoop. Okay, so I'm just looking for loose tiles here. Maybe. Stranger things have happened. Nope. No, okay. Well, uh, while I'm looking around here, I can say that uh, we've now reached, uh, after matching by my employer, we've now reached $2,000. Uh, I Just before I started the stream, I... Uh, uh, shoveled a, another boatload of money into races because uh, I ran out of uh, my matching limit for last year. But now the year's rolled over, it's fine again. So uh, we've really, really made a difference in this incredible. Okay, um, yeah, this this, uh, this approach is not working. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I am live, uh, but sometimes when I when you uh, when you link to Streamlabs, sometimes it links straight to the tips page. Uh, and, and I don't know why. Right, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I see what I have to do. I have to do. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, I, I, I've got the idea now. It'll be fine. 
There we go. We're going to drop down here. We are going to delay a little, but not too much. Oh, I might have delayed too little. Ah. Yep. We've got to quick load and try again. My F9 button's going to be worn out by the time I've stopped this. Here we go. That's probably enough. Oh! My my Prince of Persia skills have just left me in the, the absence I've had from my desktop computer for the last couple of weeks. Here we go! Alright, go, go, go! Yes! We're okay. We're, we're gonna live. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Who built this place? keep on uh, thinking momentarily that I'm uh, playing one of the console versions and I try to adjust my input. I, I'm back here again. And this is, a, unless this is just a room that looks like uh, where I was earlier. Oh no, okay, so that, uh, that platform's raised that gate, which I couldn't go through before. Okay. <sighs> oh, oh, come on. Oh no, I can't. Because that's... That is not a platform up there. That's a that's a big uh, uh, chimney that I have to find another way up from. Maybe there's a. Uh... Oh yeah 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 yeah. There was a, there was a loose tile up here. Yeah, 175 minutes left. So uh, this is one of the hints that you get that this is not going to be a normal mod. <laughs> that uh, you get three hours to complete it instead of the usual one. All right. Oh yes, okay, so now that's caught his attention, so I can sneak up here. Um... Can I sneak up here? <laughs> oh! There you go! Alright, I'm getting this now. Hopefully that's opened that. It has, okay. And I've got to make sure that that closes on him. Oh yeah, the 386, with the black and white CRTs, yeah, the, we had one that was, um... It was amber, you know, the, the, uh, the monochromatic displays. I think that was in the corner of our geography classroom. I remember my geography teacher saying it, it, it stopped working because somebody shoved a piece of bacon into it. <laughs> um, never knew the full story behind that. Okay, so I'm going to have to make some noise here. And then creep, creep, creep. Just inches away from him. All right. Oh! Right, we're going to have to creep, creep, creep a bit faster than we crept, crept, crept the first time. Oh wow. Uh. Whoa! It is, it is just amazing uh, how far things have come since uh, we were children. It's um. Because Penny, my daughter, she's going to grow up in a world where all of this just exists already. It's already been thought of. Uh, the internet is in your pocket. Oh, the guard got the door. Oh, I wonder... How... Okay, how do I get in there, then? Do I have to do a, a, a jump at exactly the right angle? Do I have to... Clamber down here, but that that's uh, that's also a pressure switch that'll close the door. Interesting. I wonder if I can jump down from here. The, you you really need to know all the in the. <laughs> okay, the, the result's getting worse. Um, you really need to know all the intricacies of the movement uh, to get these secret potions on this level set. 
That was not it. Okay, uh, we're gonna leave this potion alone, I think. And I might, uh, I might finish the game with just uh, three health bottles, but I'm used to that. Oh, yeah, I was clearly out of the way. Okay, what was I saying before? Yeah, uh, Penny's gonna grow up in a world where all of this has just been thought of. The internet's in your pocket. You can call strangers from the internet and get into their car. Um, but we lived through this period where all of this had to be worked towards for 30 years, and we saw every iteration of it. From the first uh, green screen word processors up to uh, what we have today, Fortnite and uh, virtual reality and, you know, both attempts at it. So yeah, it is, it is worth asking, what's it going to be like in another 30 years? There we go. Oh, get that sword, get that sword, get that sword! Oh, hang on, get that... What's that pressure plate up there? Let me just investigate this. Because it doesn't seem to be on the required route, but I'm interested to see what's there. What does this do? Oh, of course! It's going to open the exit! I'm going to need that! Alright. Whoop! Get the sword, get the sword, get the sword! Stop showing off, stop showing off! Right, here we go! Alright, we have a weapon at last! And that, that, that does nothing. I don't know. Okay, we're, so <laughs> we've been going for we've been going for nine minutes and we're past level one. Uh, normally, this would be fairly deadly slow uh, during this game, but uh, in repetition of time, this is the pace that we're expected to go at. All right, let's quick save this, and we're straight into a fight with the guard. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have to pock 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 him over to that switch because I haven't. No, I. I, I vaguely remember that there are no um, instances where you can completely mess yourself up here. I could be wrong, but we'll see. All right. Exit door. Whoop. Uh, not yet. Not down here. Might treat this run as an exploration, and then F6 quick load and uh, come back to it once I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's another thing. You can you can alter the um, you can alter the environment per level. I'd forgotten about that. The game is not hard coded to just say uh, dungeon, 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 palace, 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 palace. Ah! Oh! Ah! Okay. Oh! I think, <laughs> I think that exploited a bug in the game um, that says you you must drink a potion if you fall onto it, because the potion checks for the prince being crouched next to it, and if you fall uh, a story, then the prince always crouches. It's just, it's this incredible interacting stack of bugs and workarounds that make it an interesting game beyond... Uh, beyond what you would think. And it's those kinds of games that have the uh, staying power to be with us still today. So things like Super Metroid, where uh, because of just everything they put in, this complete coincidence, it is possible to complete the entire game with it tilted 90 degrees on its side with all the bosses in the wrong order. Uh, and it's just incredible to watch people do it. Alright. Um, quite like to find a another another we used to call it Cherry Coke in my house because uh, the Cherry Coke adverts in the UK said it turns your world upside down. It was a bad joke, but, you know, what do you expect? Um, this one. And then, then there was that time that uh, my dad misidentified uh, Will Smith's program as the Fresh Prince of Persia. And uh, that's how his life got flipped, turned upside down. He drank the potion on level nine. Uh, I've I've no idea where I'm going. In case that wasn't clear already, I'm just blundering through. Oh, blundering through and hoping that eventually I'll find another potion that turns me the right way back up again. Maybe. 
Oh, maybe up there on the on the left, or is it the right? I don't know. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I needed to be. I needed to be there. There we go. Okay. What's down here? Another potion. It's not what I want. I'm just. Yeah. There. There. You see that? Um. That was another place where I didn't actually prompt him to drink the potion. I didn't press shift. Didn't press down. It's just that because he landed right next to it, he has to drink it. You know, I'm wondering, uh, now that Ravenworks said that about the Upside Down Potion, what does this look like to the prince? Because, you know, remember when we all thought that uh, every game would eventually be virtual reality and you'd be in every single game? Um, if that were the case here, then you'd be Upside Down, but so would everything else, so uh, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Not quite sure what that's done, but uh we'll see. No, this this no, that looks that looks wrong. Um <laughs> I'm uh, I don't know what I am. Let's go back up here. Cause that it seemed promising that I was hitting a switch. And I don't want to... I think I need to get up above where I am just now, or, you know, down below, as it were. And for me to drop a platform onto the switch that's right in front of me just now, and that'll eliminate the switch. Ah, oh, I've messed, I've messed this up. Splat, okay, um... This upside down thing is somewhat confusing. You're absolutely right. So that's that, that's me back down here, or up here. No, oh, okay. Um, think, 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 think. Okay, so I I got I got out of there. I got that the the place that's above me just now is is this route down below that I opened at the very start of the level. And I needed to come back round. Presumably I had to switch somewhere down there that opened something up here. I'm not really sure. <laughs> no loose platforms there. There. That's it. Oh. The upside down controls confused me and I didn't do my usual uh, duck and break the platform. Okay. So, what now? Okay, I've got to be around there and up uh, uh, up above. Ah! Oh! Sorry, I messed that up. Um, and presumably, once I do get above there, the, I'll, I'll get a chance to. I'll get a chance to drop a platform down onto, the, onto that switch that I wanted to. I can't lie to you, this is a, an imperfect strategy. Okay, so that's opened that permanently. This opens the other door across there. However, I need to hold that platform down before I can usefully do anything with that. Okay. Let's try this again. Because <laughs> there must be some route down here that I missed. Okay, let's see where I can go from here. So yeah, I need to open... Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Okay, okay, let's not go there. 
Unless going there would uh, help me in any way. But I'm not sure it does. Oh, what am I doing? I needed to put that down onto that platform. And that holds the door open. I'm missing these. I, I need to get back into thinking like someone who's playing Prince of Persia. <laughs> Right, that's held that door open. There are no tiles above here that are shaking. That opens this. Jump across. That opens that. Oh! I quick loaded instead of quick save! <laughs> it's getting worse, isn't it? Beginning to think I should abandon this uh, level and start again to save the time, but uh, I don't think that would be uh, to any advantage just now. We'll get there. As long as we're alive. So yeah, last time I I, um, I accidentally provoked the guard that's uh, halfway down the pit, and I'm wondering if that if that's something I should actually do to get him out of the way for later. I can't imagine why, but maybe. Might as well. Ah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll revise that and say let's leave him alone. <laughs> Not to worry. Whoops, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay, so that just leads down to there, alright. So no point. No point in going down there. Sorry, sorry. This stream might be slightly more impressive if I could remember how to play Prince of Persia. But uh, I seem to have uh, lost a bit of my touch here. Is there anything up there? No. There's a potion here. Which I don't really need, but is welcome. Down here, this was just a potion, wasn't it? There was nothing. Um, oh, there was nothing I missed down here. So spikes, no touch plates, nothing. No. Nope, okay. So I'll, I suppose I'll work on the theory that uh, going down there a second time did something. <laughs> and we'll see. Alright. Maybe... Maybe something, some switch held down opened. Yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> so some switch held down opened this portcullis here. And that means uh, I can now get up and hopefully, if uh, my theory on what I was looking for is right, I'll be able to drop that platform down. Maybe a guide instead. We'll see.
jump. And yeah, I'm just. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So we need this guard. We need this guard to stay where he is. He's quite defendy, which doesn't help. Yes! Okay, and that's g that might have given me my first uh, successful green potion. Uh, it's a big potion, not green potion. Thank you. It is a red potion, isn't it? Um, oh, how do I... Uh, How do I get out? Ah, there's a way up there. Let's uh, let's see if um, this does anything first. Because I don't think I have room to land. I don't think I have room to land and uh, not stumble into the spikes beyond. Hmm, what is going on here? Whoop! And what's down here? Nothing special. Oh no, no, I couldn't get up here otherwise. Yeah, okay. There! There, there, there! I, I need that! Oh, thank Christ for that! Okay! Um... I might uh, be able to survive this jump. I'm not sure. We are we are alive. Okay. And then, 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 I think, if I'm not mistaken, this will get me to the green, uh, the big potion down here. It doesn't, but it it does get me back to uh, the place I wanted to be. Um. I'll, I'll have that then. Thank you. What's it? Is that, is that too wide to jump? I can't tell. Very likely is. Oh! Okay, let's, let's not do that. Okay, as I try to readjust my eyes... Shame we didn't get that uh, red potion and they sort of ran away from it, but... Uh, at, least we're, at least we got somewhere. Okay, what, what's, what's this character do? Ah! Oh, come on! Not dying to a sword fight after coming all this way. All right, he's fairly skillful. That's the that's the exit opening. Whoop. Where's the exit? I think I think it was around this way. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Ah. Okay, let me just do a real save. Okay. Oh, that was a quick save. Can I do a real save, Control G? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got a blue potion, a red potion, blue potion. I'm beginning to suspect something's up. Hang on. Okay, so that's... is. Do they make... Wait, wait, wait. These are not the same rooms I'm coming into and going out of. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go out, come back, come back, come back. Um, I think that was a, I think that was a silent transporter maze, ex and I've just got through it by sheer coincidence. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let, let's just uh, work on that theory. Okay, that's a floaty potion. You see, this is what the original game needed. It needed to use the floating potion. Um, you can stop now!
Um. <laughs> okay, well, I suppose this is my life now. <laughs> That's a nice little soft lock. Um, okay. Because that, you know, uh, you, you wouldn't be able to... You wouldn't be able to quit and restart the... Oh, no, you would be able to quit and restart the level, because it has a keyboard command for it, but uh, I can't remember. Quick load. Um, so in that case, I presumably have to go into this room and out again. Oh, and then in again. I'm not... I'm not confident as to my plan. Oh no, I've, rem I've just remembered something. Um... Do we have... Yes! Look at that! The... I... I... I've, I have no idea why that happens. But um yeah, uh this is where this is where the quick load works to your disadvantage. That if you just restart the level while you're falling down that pit, you now end up somewhere completely different. This is this is an amazing map set. Because what what what's the thing you would be forced to do there without quick load? So that you would you would have to restart the level. Ah! All right. So watch. Oops. How does that bug work? Well, if you want to know, ask somebody else. <laughs> I assume that because level three is unique in the original game because it does have a restart point. Um, once you've got past a certain room. Uh, it said, you know, th so if you die to the skeleton on level 3, you're not put back all the way to the start of the level, you're given a checkpoint. So I assume this uses that mechanic, and it says that, well, once you've got past this point, we'll activate the checkpoint, but the checkpoint is not actually on the route you're on, and it's somewhere completely different, so you restart at the checkpoint. Yeah, so, uh, I think, I think Quadralian, you might be, you might well be right. Ah... Uh, I, I I hope that this isn't an infinite spike platform trap as well, and I'm just going to be doing this forever. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Well, I could jump over there. I don't see the point, but I could. Whoa. Okay. What now? <laughs> Do I restart level again? It just puts me here. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll 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 do a I'll do a quick load, uh, quick save after I fall down the pit. And about there should do it. There we go. Quick save. All right, we have 155 minutes left. Not much chance of getting anywhere with that. So this... Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I think I can do this a lot faster than I did. Whoa, okay. Simple as that. All right. Well, how 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 dreadful do you suppose this is going to go? That opens something. I need to get a running start to get over that platform. I might be able to do it by. Hmm. What does this close? That closes that. I can't get back. Um. Hmm. So if I just standing start, that'll just land me in the spikes. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be that kind of day. Um, and I can't, I can't avoid either landing the spikes or that platform. Wank. <laughs> so 
I think this might be a situation where you need to know a very specific Prince of Persia bug. Like, like you can land at a precise distance away from spikes and it'll be fine. This was not it. But I don't know. I don't know. My uh, expertise is pretty much at an end here. There might be yet another potion that we just have to cruise on by. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is what is happening here? Okay. Yes, yeah, Psycho Jafar and his telekinesis. Does he does he have a health bar? Is it just invisible? How does this happen? Was the sprite for the sword replaced so it was offset? The mind boggles. Or do I just have to push him over further enough so I can make my escape? Well, this is fun. Let's get up here, and we're safe. Okay. Is this the end? Please tell me this is the end of the level. I don't know if I can take much more. Alright, what's over What's over here, then? Okay, that's just uh, Jafar and his weird floaty magic sword. Oh, alright. Uh, we've done three levels. <laughs> we've got nine more to go.